Look at that. What did you say? Oh, like this. Look at this one. The Tian Bo. 220. It's about right. It's even cracked though. Yeah. Well, I mean. It's like your size. 220 with all the cracks still. Something to learn from that. missing a lid. I found these. Beautiful. Wow. Euros. So 12 euros for one. It's amazing. We have the craft set right here. like to introduce you to one of our friends his name is Gilles and we met him about a year and a half ago at one of the Vie Greniers where he had a photo of a couple of bicycles that he was repairing and selling so we got to talking went and visited his home checked out the bicycles Justin said that he had one that was in need of repair and that's how the relationship started so from time to time we'll see him at the Vie Greniers he'll let us know which ones he is at this time I was really fortunate to find all these beautiful, beautiful postcards that I am now offering to you. 
in your little Etsy uh, thank you with your Etsy thank you cards as a little souvenir from France. So I hope that you're enjoying them. Anyways, getting back to the video, here we go. <laughs> Ah oui, c'est joli. Merci beaucoup. Good morning. <laughs> seen anything like that one. I wish you couldn't smell the wisteria. They are so divine. They smell amazing. Sunday, it's time to go book hunting. We're gonna go to three new villages, no, two new villages today that we've never seen. And uh, we're gonna travel around half an hour, no, 40 minutes, half an hour, half an hour, half an hour back. <laughs> so we're gonna make this little loop. That's one of the best things about being grannies because it gives us the opportunity to see new villages whereas we've never seen them before. So let's go. <laughs> Good eyes, sweetie. Beautiful. About one minute from Allen, which is our second destination. Walk around. I wonder how they get the water. Yeah. Juicy. On to the next spot. On to the next spot. <laughs> I can't believe it. We're already on our last floor. It's only 10 30. situation so far all I found here was this beautiful fabric look at that this ribbon Whew. Look at the snow, cherry blossom snow. Oh, 
What do you think? Do you think Justin should have his own swing? Everybody give us a vote. Should we put up another swing? I think that's a yes. Maybe, we'll see. We've got the rope. I bought the clasp. Woo! It's hard to tell the difference in this light, but it's definitely shiny. Okay, so I'm gonna show you all the new things that I'm gonna be listing over the next week or two. Many of the things that you've seen in our video, but this is just a close-up shot. Um, this was not in the video. This is something that we picked up a couple weeks ago. These are crystal. Well, there's a little bit of lead crystal in there. You know, instead of talking, I'm just gonna go ahead and just share a silent video. <laughs> Here we go.
the way that this pot has aged is absolutely incredible to me. I mean, wow, you can just imagine all the food that was kept in here, all the preserves that were in this pot from the early 1800s. I mean, look at this thing. Wow, it's absolutely incredible. I mean, I just love, I love pottery. I love coming across these special gems. That is stunning. I don't know who's with me. <laughs> who's with me? I just put my candles in there. I'll put my various utensils in there. I mean, whatever, you know, just or just not just display it on top of some books. I'd like to offer this one for sale, as you see. It's gorgeous from the 20th century. Love the beautiful colors. It's already tea stained. So what I would do, I would probably use this as a bird feeder. Uh, so definitely seeds. Try not to spill, Johnny. There we go. Seeing that okay? Okay. And then, should I put it in here? So the birds would feed from here, and then I would put water in here as a bird bath. Yeah. All right, let's go photograph this and see what it looks like. So that's what I would use it for, for the birds in the garden. Here is another idea. I've got a old 1800s laundry paddle here. I've got the Daguan carafe, the old honey comfy pot. Now imagine this is your um, laundry space. And I've got these, these laundry laundry pads here. You could use these little things as storage. Store these. So imagine you have that. I would photograph this in our laundry area if I had somewhere to put all these lovely things and enough light. In case you haven't noticed before, I'd like to point out that in a typical pitcher or carafe, you will find that the handle is placed behind the spout, whereas in these, the saint Uze from the 1930s, they are not. That is just so, so cool of a design. I absolutely love that. So as you back then would have poured your liquids. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Uh, I've kept one for myself, which is the same size as the number four. Five, sorry. So this is the number five and this is the number four. So I have one for myself and now I'd like to offer you two. It is in amazing condition for being 200 years old. Shall we do some tablescapes today? It's 
been so windy. I really wanted to go outside and do it, but I don't think it's gonna happen. So just go down. I may really make a habit of going down these stairs because it's the direct, it's direct access into the kitchen, basically. I'd like to use the other stairwell, but uh, I just need to make a habit of it. Let's see. Going back to my little mess today, which is not as bad as it was last time. So this is a renowned brand in France. You may have seen it before, Alpico. Beautiful porcelain, very heavy and sturdy, great for appetizers. I've picked up this adorable silver-plated appetizer set that you will see on Etsy. So you're serving your appetizers, you're putting them here on the plate, and then everybody moves on, you're moving on, and then you have the soup portion. Century Modern, Art Nouveau, 19th Century, nice mix. So yesterday I was having a good time doing some tablescapes without any food. I went to the market the other day and forgot to buy fruit. So we have some bananas, but those don't usually photograph very well. I saw an image yesterday with melons. Uh, I just cannot be bothered to go to the store. So I thought um, that I would make a strawberry cake. We went to the market or to a Grinny on Sunday. We picked up some strawberries, which are approaching the season. We're approaching the season. I think they're just still a little bit bitter. They were... Um, they are French strawberries, so I'm trying to support our local farmers as much as possible. But anyways, I 
really don't know how to follow a recipe. So let's see if I can make this try. Right, we'll see if that has a fighting chance of tasting good. These forks actually work really well. If you don't want them, I'll keep them. Mm. It's like a pound cake. Mm. Yummy. Wanted to show you the difference between the fired and glazed porcelain here, which as you see is a lot brighter and smooth and finish. And then you have the unglazed porcelain here, fired a couple of times. You can hear that raw texture. You know, it was in the 18th century that the French were into what they call, or what we probably call now, chinoiserie chic. And uh, I think it's, who is it, Philippe the Third. Oh, don't quote me on this. But anyways, there were a lot of influences from the East that were taken into the decor at that time. So it was very, very popular. I can see where they get that from.